And Ryan Newman goes for the pass. Eric Jones blocks contact. Was made. Hey guys, this is Mike Jones, and we're back on NR 2003. Today we have the 2020 cars, and we are at Daytona International Speedway. This is an expedition race. We're going 40 or 20 laps. And uh, yeah, it looks like Kurt Busch qualified pole, Daytona 500, but only 20 laps. Caution flags are on, so hopefully we get it about one. I, I think one big one is good, and yeah. But anyway, if you guys want to see a season of the 2020 cars, you can let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more, hit the like button, and let's get into it. Drivers! Start your engines! So the drivers are starting their engines. Pit road speed is 55 miles per hour, even though that does not matter. Qualifying, Kurt Busch on the pole. Martin Truex Jr. second. Kyle Busch third. Denny Hamlin. Brad Keselowski. Chris Buescher six. That's not bad. Ryan Blaney seventh. Kyle Larson eighth. Alex Bowman ninth. And Chase Elliott tenth. Wow. So, Hendrick cars usually qualify better here, but that's not too bad. In the top 10. Who's last? Timmy Hill. We, ha we have 42 cars. I think there was actually 43 that went for it, so I don't know who didn't make it. But yeah, we're about to go green flag racing. Uh, wow, even Tyler Reddick's in the back. That's interesting. I thought he would qualify better than that. Hmm. Anyway, we are about to go green flag racing 20 laps. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Green flag is already out. Holy cow, that was early. And boom. Kurt Busch going to lead them off. I was about to do a Piston Cup race today, and then I decided to try to find a car set for this, and I did. So I found one. Boom. We are allowed to do these now. So that's cool. Brothers, Bush brothers are going to lead it off. Kyle Bush is thinking about going for the pass already, though, so that's going to be interesting. Lots of bobbing and weaving through the pack already. Three wide for about third, or about sixth place. Three wide for the lead. Brad Keselowski the three wide. His teammate of Ryan Blaney is going to push him to the front. Hopefully these guys don't get in the wall because they're getting really close to the wall. Almost four wide in the front there. And Brad Keselowski goes down to block. And Brad Keselowski will lead the first lap. His teammate Ryan Blaney is going to go up with him to the outside. And Blaney stays high, not able to get down with him. And they are now split up. Ooh, wow. We got a lot of bobbing and weaving and passing and going and everything between all of these guys. Almost four wide. In the about third place position. We are going to see a wreck soon. I know it. Kevin Harvick now takes the lead. Three by three. Holy goodness. And you could just tell that once you get the lead and you lose that draft, you just lose all your momentum. Kevin Harvick's blocking both lanes and he will lead lap two. Now we start lap three. His teammate Eric Almarola is behind him now. Jimmy Johnson's up here now. We're going to have to see what ends up happening between them. We already got all these cars trying to hold on to the draft, but they're falling behind. So that's not good news. Three wide once again. And that is teammates, Chevy teammates of uh, Alex Bowman and Jimmy Johnson. The sad thing is I already can't remember who won the Daytona 500 this year. <laughs> it wasn't Denny Hamlin again, was it? Who won the Daytona 500? How did I already forget? How did I already forget? It was Denny Hamlin again. That's why. Yeah, Denny Hamlin won two years in a row. Is he going to win on here? Because I got the stats from 2020 and 2019, so he should definitely be the best here. He's, we haven't talked about him much. There he is way in the back, about 20th position. These Stuart Haas teammates trying to draft each other, and they are actually getting a lot of distance between them and the pack. They're starting to push away, kind of like how they did at Talladega. What year was that, 2017 or 18 or something? Oh, contact in the back! 
They almost crashed. That was Joey Logano and Chris Buescher in the 17. Almost four wide, too. Holy goodness gracious. That was scary back there. Your leader is still Kevin Harvick. We got some craziness going on here. Austin Dillon starting to make his way up to the front of the pack. Oh, my goodness. Now we got Ryan Blaney going for it. Blaney gets cut off. Your top four haven't changed in a lap or two now. It looks like Harvick's going to lead another one. Jimmy Johnson goes down. Ooh, gets in the back of Boyer. And that knocks Boyer up. He actually got in the back of him. Wow. David Reagan was driving the 36 car for a one-off race this 2020 season. And he's doing pretty good for the day. Oster, Eric Armarola fell up to the outside. Now he's going to lose his teammate there. And Ryan Blaney makes his way to second. Alex Bowman trying to follow him. But Kyle Busch is going to make it three wide. Kyle Busch started near the front. About third, I believe. And he's back in third again. Now we see three Hendrick cars battling. Oh my goodness. All the Hendrick cars in the top ten right now. All next to each other. Wow, that's getting crazy. Kyle Busch is going to get by Ryan Blaney now. How are these guys racing this hard and not crashing? Like, I don't get it. They are all over the place, all over each other, racing like maniac. Kevin Harvick's been unstoppable since he's got that lead, but is Kyle Busch going to be able to get him? I don't know. Wow, look at all those cars. I don't know, Ryan Blaney fell to the outside. Alex Bowman lost a lot of momentum, so that could hurt. Looks like Kyle Busch is thinking about going for the pass, but not going to happen soon. Three wide once again in the back, or in the middle of the track. I think, I can't believe we haven't seen a crash yet. These guys are maniacs. Jimmy Johnson was able to get up there with William Bryan and Chase Elliott. That's three Hendrick cards in the top five now. Jimmy Johnson went for the pass, but nobody went to help him, so he's not going to get enough momentum. And that's going to hurt Byron because now he's stuck on the outside. Johnson came up high into him, and almost contact was almost made there. That could have been not healthy. And it wasn't for William Byron. He had a lot off the gas, and he just fell way back. And now he's going to try to come back down, and he does. Starting lap nine. Oh, my goodness. Chase Elliott is now going to get in front of Jimmy Johnson. Johnson starting to fall back now. Kyle Busch goes for the lead. Is he going to have enough momentum to get through there? Oh my goodness. So far, so good. He doesn't have much drafting help, though. But now Blaney's down there. Blaney's going to be able to help Kyle Busch. And Blaney's going to go for the pass. No, he's not. And I don't know who's going to lead this lap. Harvick still led the lap. And it looks like Kyle Busch should get him this time by, though. Everybody is still on the draft at the moment, so that is good news. Oh, no, they're not. Three cars have fell behind. That's Tyler Reddick, Cole Custer, and Timmy Hill all lost the draft. That is not good news for those guys. Three wide for second place. Kyle Busch goes down to block his teammate. Kevin Harvick gets stuck on the outside. Harvick is going to lose a lot of the ground now. And Harvick was the unstoppable guy. And now he's stoppable because of Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch and Truex. Both of them qualified up there, actually. I think all the Joe Gibbs cars qualified pretty good. Kyle Busch does lead his first lap there, and we are halfway home. Ten laps to go. I'm not sure if we're going to see lap traffic this race or not. I don't think so, because they're still close enough, unless we have a caution. 
Martin Truex Jr. goes for the pass, though. And Truex is now going to be your leader. And look at that. Denny Hamlin, ooh, a little bit of contact between him and Alex Bowman. But Denny Hamlin's up there now with a little push from Kurt Busch. Alex Bowman able to charge back in front of Hamlin and get back to the inside. I have not been able to see much of that. And Alex Bowman goes for the lead. Holy cow, Alex Bowman. Just about got stuck in that middle lane, but he's been gone now. Oh my goodness, Alex Bowman still going for the lead. He's got Chris Buescher behind him, trying to give him a good push. Denny Hamlin goes for the lead now. Alex Bowman wasn't even able to take it yet. And Denny Hamlin looks like he should be able to lead this lap. He slides up high though. That might be bad. It live yeah, he gets back down, that's okay. Denny Hamlin leads the lap. We are getting very close to the end of the race now and it is getting really heated up. Look how close these guys are. Everybody still on the draft is just right with each other. There's just like so much going on. The number 11 car for one car. That's a lot of ones leading the race. Eric Jones makes his way up to third. He hasn't been up there yet. And Ryan Newman, who actually had a terrible crash, almost won the race. Now I remember. Uh, he was on his way up, and then I talked about him, and he started falling back. We got two Penske cars, and uh, oh my gosh, Paul Menard, or no, not Paul Menard, Matt Di Benedetto. Oh my goodness. But they spread out after I said that because I couldn't think of their names for some reason. Eric Jones goes for a second. He's gonna try to get behind his teammate of Denny Hamlin. Ryan Newman's there again. Alex Bowman's there again. He lost some ground and then he started gaining his way back up. Wow, this is very interesting. I just don't know who's gonna do it. Eric Jones goes down to the inside to block the run. And that is gonna give him probably too much space and these guys are gonna start catching him fast as they got too big of a run going into the corner. They got about two car lengths, and those other guys are going to start catching up. Six laps to go. This is getting very interesting. Oh my goodness. I don't know who's going to win this. Like, if you really think Hamlin's just going to hold it off, I don't know. Like, it is possible, but Eric Jones does have Hamlin where he wants him. He's got him pushed a couple of car lengths ahead to where if Eric Jones goes for the pass, Hamlin's going to stall out. But it looks like they're starting to catch up again. So now we got them all caught back up. Ryan Newman's stuck behind him now. And Ryan Newman goes for the pass. Eric Jones blocks contact. Was made. Oh my goodness. Eric Jones blocked Ryan Newman. Contact was made. Five laps to go. They didn't crash. I cannot believe they didn't crash. Ryan Newman overly aggressive there. That was worth. Well, actually, Newman wasn't the aggressive one. Eric Jones was on that block, and it almost cost him. Newman did not let off the gas. We're getting close to the end of the race. You don't want to let off the gas. Newman goes down to block, and he rethinks it. And that allows Joey Logano to get to the inside. Hamlin is loving this. He likes it when all the guys behind him are battling each other. And Joey Logano went for the pass, but it is not going to happen. Oh my goodness. And now he is. And Hamlin is not able to block. So Joey Logano is going to go for the lead here. He's got some help with Ryan Newman behind him. And Hamlin, I don't think we'll be able to hold it off now. Nope. I don't know. Hamlin does have that backstretch draft. But for some reason, Ryan Newman is still fast enough to go for it. Almost went for the lead even. Oh, my goodness. And we are about to hit three laps to go at the flag. Caution will end the race. So... Wow, that is getting interesting. Almost contact back there once again. Holy goodness gracious, guys. And here comes 
Denny Hamlin once again. It looks like it's going to be Hamlin versus Logano for the win. Newman's ready to pounce if they make any mistake. Kyle Busch and Kevin Harvick are on the way back up too. Denny Hamlin goes for the pass and he is able to make it. So Denny Hamlin retakes the lead. Look at the bump drafting going on by Kyle Larson and Ryan Newman. If they wouldn't have got blocked, they would have had a run. Two laps to go. Joey Logano barely led that lap. And I mean barely. By what? Zero? Zero point zero one? We will not see any lap cars. Chase Elliott, can he come steal the show? Chase Elliott was able to make it into the top five earlier, but that was about it. That's where he is now, but he is on his way up. Logano has been able to hold off Hamlin for a whole couple corners, but Chase Elliott's going for the lead now. Chase Elliott with a push from Austin Dillon. Oh my goodness, I couldn't think of his name. And Chase Elliott's going to leave the race. White flag sponsored by Credit One Bank. Can Chase Elliott hold off everybody? Oh my goodness. Kevin Harvick, who I believe led the most laps at the beginning of the race, is now caught back into position. He is the one that has a chance to make the move. Is he going for it? He is. Did he go too early, though? That's the question. I don't know. No, he did not. Ooh, this is going to be extremely close. This is going to be a very close photo finish. Maybe not. Harvick got a big pass going in there. And Kevin Harvick should be able to come up and block, and he does. And Kevin Harvick is going to win your 2020 Daytona 500 Expedition Race. Oh, my goodness. How did we not have a crash? So much contact in that race that should have ended in problems and they just didn't so i don't even know where everybody else finished wow kevin harvick wins chase elliott gets a good second place finish martin truex jr third austin dillon fourth eric armarola fifth danny hamlin sixth ryan newman seventh kurt bush your pole sitter eighth joey logano ninth and kyle larson finishes out your top 10 Kyle Busch got 11 Corey LaJoy up there in 12th that's pretty good for him there wasn't any crashes so we didn't really get to see the underdogs get up there as much as they could of and I think they might have spread out a little more than they should have I might have to fix some settings but I hope you guys enjoyed this if you do want to see a 2020 season you can let me know in the comments below if I get enough comments we'll do it Comment any suggestions for future videos. I can still do some expedition races if we don't do a season. Piston Cup is still coming, but I don't have it ready yet, once again. And, yeah, share it with your friends, family, mom, dad, kids, whatever. Uh, <laughs> hit the like button. Hit subscribe with notifications so you don't miss any more of these if you liked it. Let me know what your favorite part was, and we'll see you guys next time.